हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल अतिशय महत्वाचं सेशन आज आपण इथे डिस्कस करणार आहोत या सेशन मध्ये नॉवेलिस्ट आपल्याला डिस्कस करायचे आहेत आणि व्हिक्टोरियन एज मधले या अगोदर तुम्हाला जे दोन सेशन आपले झालेले आहेत रिलेटेड टू द व्हिक्टोरियन एज व्हिक्टोरियन द व्हिक्टोरियन एज वन द व्हिक्टोरियन एज टू लाईव्ह सेशन मध्ये तुम्ही ते बघू शकता आणि जे जे झालेले आहेत त्यानंतर सिक्वेन्सनं जर तुम्ही बघितलं तर तुमच्या लक्षात हे प लवकर येणार आहे बघता आपण जशी सुरुवात केलेली होती आपण द एज ऑफ चौसर झालं आहे द एज फ्रॉम चौसर टू स्पेन्सर झालं आहे द एज ऑफ एलिझाबेथ झालं आहे आफ्टर दॅट द एज ऑफ मिल्टन आपण डिस्कस केलं त्यानंतर द एज ऑफ ड्रायडन द एज ऑफ पोप आपण डिस्कस केलं आहे त्यानंतर द एज ऑफ ट्रान्झिशन आपण डिस्कस केलं आहे त्यानंतर द रिटर्न टू द रिटर्न टू नेचरही आपलं झालेलं आहे आणि त्यानंतर आपण स्टार्ट केलं होतं बघा द व्हिक्टोरियन एजला आपण सुरुवात केली होती आवाज वगैरे क्लिअर आहे की नाही मला सांगाल प्लीज ओके एव्हरी वन लेट मी नो युअर चला कोण कोण लाईव्ह सेशन आहे पटकन मला हाय करा जेणेकरून आपण आपल्या या सेशनला सुरुवात करू शकू यामध्ये आपण या अगोदर व्हिक्टोरियन एज मधले पोएट्स असतील आपण डिस्कस केलेले आहे त्यानंतर आपण आपण आज नॉवेलिस्टला सुरुवात करणार आहोत आणि थोडा बऱ्यापैकी मोठा असलेला हा इरा आहे एज आहे ज्याचा फायदा आपल्याला येणाऱ्या सेट नेट परीक्षांमध्ये होणार आहे तुम्हाला या व्यतिरिक्त देखील नॉलेजेबल असं सेशन आहे ज्यामध्ये आज नॉवेलिस्ट आपण डिस्कस करणार आहोत आणि यामध्ये आज आपल्याला जवळपास चार नॉवेलिस्ट चार नाही म्हणता येणार एक दोन तीन तीनमध्ये ह्या तीन आहेत ॲक्च्युली द ब्राउंटीज एक दोन त्यानंतर तीन चार पाच आणि सहा एवढे आज आपण डिस्कस करणार आहोत यांचं वर्क देखील फार मोठं आहे तर आपण सुरुवात करूया नॉवेलिस्ट व्हिक्टोरियन एज मधलं सगळ्यांना विलिज विजिबल आहे का बघा सगळ्यांनी whether the screen is visible or not baka atta apan novelist discuss karnar ahot ani novelist kasha madle ahe tar he novelist ahe ta of victorian age madil kutle the victorian age madil novelist ahe these are the novelists the of victorian age 
या मधलं सगळ्यात अगोदर आपल्याला नाव आपल्या समोर जे आहे दॅट इज चार्ल्स डिकन्स वन ऑफ द फेमस वन ऑफ द फेमस ऑथर्स फ्रॉम इंग्लिश लिटरेचर अतिशय महत्वाचा असा ऑथर आहे नाव आहे बघा त्याचं चार्ल्स डिकन्स याचा जन्म हा एटीन ला झाला आणि याचा मृत्यू हा एटीन ला झाला हा पिरियड लक्षात घेता आपण जर बघितलं समजा इथं इथे जर केलं किती वर्ष तो जगला जवळपास आठ ते आणि जवळपास सिक्स फिफ्टी वीस सात म्हणजे जवळपास फिफ्टी एट इयर्स त्याचं तो जगला आणि त्या फिफ्टी इयर्स फिफ्टी एट इयर्समधलं त्याचं कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन तुम्ही बघा काय आहे तर चार्ल जॉन हफम डिकन्स असं त्याचं पूर्ण नाव आहे चार्ल जॉन हफम डिकन्स अँड इंग्लिश रायटर अँड सोशल क्रिटिक होता क्रिएटेड अ सम वर्ल्ड्स बेस्ट नॉन फिक्शनल कॅरेक्टर्स त्यानं त्याच्या लिटरेचर लिटर रायटिंगमधनं त्याच्या आपल्याला दिसायला दिसतात त्यानंतर ही वॉज एक्सपर्ट शॉर्ट हँड रायटर शॉर्ट हँड रायटर होता अँड रिपोर्टर फॉर द इव्हनिंग पेपर्स ट्रू सन अँड द मॉर्निंग क्रॉनिकल म्हणजे एटीन थर्टी टू आणि एटीन थर्टी फोरमध्ये त्यांना रिपोर्टर म्हणून देखील काम केलेलं आहे त्यानंतर डिकन स्केचेस बाय वॉट इज दॅट बॉज अपियर्ड इन द मंथली मॅगझिन आता हे आपल्याला वन बाय वन आपल्याला स्टडी करायचं आहे कारण जे बरेचसे जे लिटरी वर्क आहे हे लिटरी वर्क समजून घेताना आपल्याला बारीक बारकावे जे आहेत छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टी फार महत्वाच्या आहेत डिकन स्केचेस अ बॉज इट इज बॉज ओके अपियर्ड इन द मंथली मॅगझिन स्टार्टेड वॉट इज द पोस्ट ह्युमन्स पेपर्स ऑफ पिकविक क्लब बघा द पोस्ट ह्युमन्स पेपर्स ऑफ पिकविक क्लब एटीन थर्टी सिक्स टू एटीन थर्टी सेवन मध्ये त्याने रन केलं होतं ऑल्सो नोन ॲज पिकविक पेपर्स म्हणजे पिकविक पेपर्स तुमच्या डोळ्यासमोर आलं की तुम्हाला कोण आठवलं पाहिजे यु नी टू यु नी टू रिमेंबर चार्ल्स कोण डिकन्स चार्ल्स डिकन्स तुमच्या डोळ्यासमोर येणं गरजेचं आहे त्यामध्ये बघा ही ट्रॅव्हल अ लॉट टू अमेरिका एटीन फोर्टी टू टू इटली एटीन फोर्टी फोर टू स्वित्झरलँड एटीन फोर्टी सिक्स अगेन टू अमेरिका एटीन सिक्स्टी सेवन नाव एडिटेड द न्यूज पेपर द डेली न्यूज एटीन फोर्टी सिक्समध्ये एडिट करायचा तो या इयरला फाउंडेड द हाऊस होल्ड वर्ड्स एटीन फोर्टी नाईन ऑल द इयर अराउंड एटीन फिफ्टी नाईन ही झाली त्याची बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन त्याच्या बाबतीतली आता आपण डिस्कस करणार आहोत चार्ल्स डिकन्सचे वर्क्स कुठले उठले होते ते बघूयात आपण चार्ल्स डिकन्सचे सो स्केचेस बाय बॉज इट वॉज पब्लिश इन एटीन थर्टी सिक्स सो अ सिरीज डिलिंग विथ लंडन लाईफ इन मॅनर ऑफ ले हंट बघा आता याने काय केलं होतं की स्केचेस बाय बॉज हे जे स्टार्ट केलं होतं यामध्ये एक सिरीज होतं रायटिंगचं ज्यामध्ये त्यांना दाखवलं की लंडनमधलं जे लाईफ आहे हे कुठल्या पद्धतीनं होतं जे कंटेम्पररी लाईफ लाईफ होतं त्यावेळेचं जे लाईफ होतं ते कसं होतं ऑल्सो टायटल ॲज स्केचेस ऑफ बॉज या स्केचेस बाय बॉजला स्केचेस ऑफ बॉज असं देखील म्हटलेलं आहे इट इलस्ट्रेट्स ऑफ एव्हरी डे लाईफ अँड एव्हरी डे पीपल द होल वर्क इज डिवायडेड इन टू फोर सेक्शन्स यामध्ये आर पॅरिश हा एक सेक्शन आहे सेकंड आहे सीन्स थर्ड आहे कॅरेक्टर्स अँड नंबर फोर ती इज टॅल्स सो दीज आर द फोर दीज आर द फोर सेक्शन्स पहिला कुठला दिला आहे आर पॅरिश दुसरा कुठला सेक्शन सांगितला आहे दॅट इज सीन्स तिसरा कुठला सांगितला आहे दॅट इज कॅरेक्टर्स कॅरेक्टर्स आणि चौथा कुठला सांगितला आहे दॅट इज टेल्स एक दोन तीन आणि चार हे कॅरेक्ट हे त्यातले सेक्शन्स आहेत कशातले स्केचेस बाय बॉस नेक्स्ट आपण बघूया नेक्स्ट काय आहे द ॲडव्हेंचर्स ऑफ ओलिवर ट्विस्ट द ॲडव्हेंचर्स ऑफ ओलिवर ट्विस्ट इट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट वर्क्स बाय चार्ल्स डिकन्स ऑल्सो इन टायटल ओलिवर ट्विस्ट ऑर द पेरिश बॉयज प्रोग्रेस द पेरिश बॉयज प्रोग्रेस ओलिवर ट्विस्ट हे बघा त्याचं काय म्हणजे द ॲडव्हेंचर्स ऑफ ओलिओर ट्विस्टच ना ओलिओर ट्विस्ट देखील आहे अँड द पेरिज बॉय इज अ प्रोग्रेस देखील आहे त्यामुळे तुम्हाला एक्झाममध्ये असं देखील विचारलं जाऊ शकतं की ठीक आहे वॉट इज द वॉट इज अन अदर टायटल किंवा द ॲडव्हेंचर्स ऑफ ओलिओर ट्विस्ट इज ऑल्सो एन टायटल ॲज त्यापैकी खाली चार ऑप्शन असतील आणि त्यापैकी एक ऑप्शन जर असेल द पेरिज बॉय इज अ प्रोग्रेस तर ते तुम्हाला माहिती असणं गरजेचं आहे दिस इज अ सेकंड नॉवेल बॉय चार्ल्स डिकन्स हे सेकंड नॉवेल आहे चार्ल्स डिकन्स कुठलं आहे दिस इज द सेकंड नॉवेल ऑफ चार्ल्स डिकन्स दिस इज द सेकंड नॉवेल बाय चार्ल्स डिकन्स 
and it was published as a serial between 1837 to 39. Ike serials are part of the book that published Oliver Twist. Hmm? This is the story of the orphan Oliver Twist who starts his life in a workhouse and is the is the sold into apprenticeship with an undertaker. He escapes from there and travels to London where he meets the artful dodger, a member of a gang of juvenile pickpockets led by the elderly criminal Fagin. When you look at the life delay, the orphan is going to apprentice with an undertaker. The apprentice is going to be sober. The apprentice is going to be sober. He escapes. From there and travels to London, to the London la jatoe and what he did, where he meets the artful dodger, manje kai ha koon hota hai, artful dodger ko aaya hai, tera member of a gang, juvenile manje, j 18 plus nastil ten cha khalse j age nastil ten to pick pockets manje pocket mar karna hai, gang madhe gang madla hota hai, and led by the elderly criminal Fagin. So Oliver Twist is notable for its unromantic portrayal by Dickens and their sordid lives as well as for exposing the cruel treatment of the many orphans in London in mid 19th century manje yatna kai kele tane ki 19th century madhe cruel treatment je milaychi kunala tar orphanage madhe rahnare ki orphans je ase che tanna important characters kon kon ahe ya madhe baga ek ahe oliver twist an orphan fagin criminal boss of a gang of gang of young boys Third is Nancy, a prostitute. Fourth, Rose, Rose Melai, Oliver's maternal aunt. Number five, Mr. Brownlow, uh, a kind gentleman who take Oliver in. Then number six, Monks, a sickly, a sickly criminal and a cohort of Fagin. Then uh, Bill, si Bill, uh, Bill, si Sykes, I think. Hmm? Bill Sykes, a professional burglar. The Artful Dodger, Fagin's most adept uh, pickpocket, Charles Bett, a pickpocket, Mr. Snowberry, an undertaker, Bett, a prostitute. The novel was published serially, means chapter, chapter group Y, chapter group Y, this is a picaresque novel. So, here is Oliver Twist, I will discuss this very much, which we have discussed in the set net, कि वह स्पर्धा परीक्षा सुझाते हैं चाहे इशू बनाती है शेम महत्वाचार से ही सेशन आए। तेरह अंदर बगा निकोलस निकलबा निकोलस निकलबा इस नोवेल रिटेन बाय चार्ल्स डीगन दिस इज अ नोवेल है एक नोवेल है फुल टाइटल ये रहता बगी इतना तुम्हें द लाइफ एंड एडवेंचर्स ऑफ निकोलस निकलबा काया ह� this is the third novel by Charles Dickens. He third novel hai. Charles Dickens. This is the third novel. Third novel. Kutla Nicholas Nickelby. The novel centers on the life and adventures of Nicholas Nickelby. That a young man who must support, who must support his mother and sister after his father's death. This entire novel is set in London. And it is ironic social satire. एक ironic social Nicholas Nickelby by Charles Dickens is a social satire. This is a social satire. This is a social satire. The Old Curiosity Shop. It was published in 1840. Published in Master Humphreys Master Humphreys Clock Clock काय दिले बगा The Old Curiosity Shop. It was published in 1840. Published in Master Humphreys Clock. And a novel by Charles Dickens. The plot follows the life of Nell Trent. Kona hai at the central character, Nell Trent and her grandfather, both the residents of the old curiosity shop in London. Serialized, Kadibasna chapter group, Serialized April 1840 to 1841. Book format 1841, Madhi book format Madhyala. The novel tells the story of Nell Trent, a beautiful and young girl of not quite year 14. An orphan, Bagaparad orphan. She lives with a maternal grandfather in his <coughs> shop of odds and ends. Her grandfather loves her dearly and Nell does not complain. But she lives a lonely existence with almost no friends of her own age. Yamade major characters kun kunote, 
Unguna Hedbagan, Nell Train, the novel's main character, Nell's grandfather, Nell's guardian, Christopher Keith the Nobles, Nell's friend and servant, Daniel Quill, the novel's primary villain, and Richard Dick Swiller, Frederick Trent's uh, Frederick Trent's uh, manipulated friend. Then uh, Barnard by Raj, next one is the next novel ever, next historical novel, next guy. Barnby Raj, R U D G. It was published in 1841. It is a historical novel. Full title Barnby Raj, A Tale of the Rights of 80. Published serially in Master Humphrey's Clock. It is largely set during the Gordon Rights of 1780. Hatela platform Gordon Rights. Gordon Rights. Now, Dickens is the fifth novel. <coughs> American Notes by Dickens, a travel log. Next guy I work that's a next work is American Notes or American Notes for a General Circulation 1842 This is a travel log. <coughs> this is a travel log. A travel log by Charles Dickens detailing his trip to North America from January to June 1842. <coughs> he visited Boston. Lowell, New York and Philadelphia. He likes he likes these city he likes the city of he likes he likes the city of Boston so much. Boston is a city Coop our Lily and this is a travelogue by Charles Dickens. Next channel Lile Baga Martin Zizzlewit Chiselwit Zizzlewit Martin Zizzlewit The Life and Adventures of Martin Zizzlewit. 1843 la published jala. Consider the last of his picaresque novel. Jahe picaresque novel madla she vart sa jata. Excuse me. Consider the last of his picaresque novel, serialized and then published in the form of books, dedicated to his friend Angela Georgina Burdett Calls. Yeah. Cots, yes, friend, dedicate The main theme of the novel is selfishness portrayed in a satirical fashion using all the members of the Zalwit family. It is also notable for two of the Deacon's great villains, Seth Pecksnip and Jonas Zalwit. In our objective, great villains. Upon work, the best characters he created in literary work. Okay, next baga important a Christmas carol. What is that? A Christmas carol. Important a full title, a Christmas carol in prose being a ghost story by uh, story of Christmas. Commonly known as a Christmas carol. Uh, novella, this is a novella. Novella is a little bit uh, you can say what a shorter as compared to novel. Novel the size is mutiaste. It tells the story of a bitter, bitter old miser. It tells the story of a bitter old miser named Ebenezer Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge, and his transformation into a gentler. <coughs> kindlier man after of visitations by the ghost of his former business partner Jacob Marley Jacob Marley and Jacob Marley and the ghost of Christmas part present and yet to come the book was written at the time when British were British were examining and exploring Christmas traditions from the past as well as new customs such as Christmas cards and Christmas trees. Dickens divides the book into five chapters, which he uh, labels staves, <coughs> which he labels staves, that is, uh, songs, stanzas, or verses, in keeping with the title of the book, Christmas Carol. Tyanantar hai baga? Label the staves, labels, staves. Tyanantar next hai that's a novel, Dombey and Son. Dombey and Son, it was published in 1846. It was published in 1846. 
this is a novel this is a novel by charles dickens published in monthly parts from 1st october 1846 to 1st april 1848 so full title dealings with the firm of dombey and son wholesale retail and for exportation as a complete title ahe yamade started writing the book in lausanne switzerland before returning to england via paris to complete it mhanje tana suruvat tithe keli hoti डॉम्बे एंड सन कंप्लीट टाइटल बार चार्ल्स डिकन सर दैट इज डीलिंग्स विद द फॉर्म ऑफ डॉम्बी एंड सन होलसेल रिटेल एंड फॉर एक्सपोर्टेशन तुम्हें जर आतापर्यत अपन जे का डिस्कस के एक लक्षा आल कि सग जे है प्रत्येक आता पैकी पर फूल टाइटल वेग है आ शॉर्ट टाइटल वेग है तो मुझे दोनों लक्षा ठेना जरा गरजे चाहिए तनतर फ बगा काय आहे स्टार्टेड राइटिंग हे ऑलरेडी मी सांगितले तुम्हाला की बुक लेला त्यांना स्विझरलँडला सुरुवात केली होती अँड द स्टोरी कन्सर्न्स पॉल डॉम्बे द वेल्दी ओनर ऑफ द शिपिंग कंपनी होलसेल होलसेल ड्रीम इज टू हॅव अ टू हॅव अ सन टू कंटिन्यू हिज बिझनेस नेक्स्ट नंबर 10 नंबरचं बघा व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट डेव्हिड कॉप ऑफ फील्ड डिकन्स नॉवेल कुठलं आहे डेविड कॉपर फील्ड आहे काय आहे बघा हे एक्झॅक्टली वॉट इज दिस एट नॉवेल बाय चार्ल्स डिकन्स द नॉवेल कंटेन्स मेनी ऑफ हिज पर्सनल एक्सपिरियन्सेस फुल टायटल द पर्सनल हिस्ट्री ऍडव्हेंचर्स एक्सपिरियन्स अँड ऑब्झर्वेशन ऑफ डेव्हिड कॉपर फील्ड सो द यंगर ऑफ द ब्लंडस्टोन रोकरी विच यू नेवर मीन टू पब्लिश ऑन एनी अकाउंट टायटल बघा आता किती मोठं आहे सो यू कॅन चेक द टायटल ओ हिअर This is an autobiography. David Copperfield is an autobiographical novel. It is a living development. I mean, autobiographical novel. So this is an autobiographical novel. The story follows the life of David Copperfield from childhood to maturity. This is an autobiographical, autobiographical novel. Bleak House is the next novel. It was published in 1852. मध्ये त्यांना पब्लिश केलं होतं चार्ल्स डिकन्सनं अ नॉवेल पब्लिश ॲज अ सिरियल बिटवीन मार्च एटीन फिफ्टी टू टू सप्टेंबर एटीन फिफ्टी थ्री सो इट कंटेन्स मेनी कॅरेक्टर्स अँड स प्लॉट्स अँड द स्टोरी इज टोल्ड पार्टली पार्टली बाय द नॉवेल्स हिरोईन इस्तर समरसन अँड पार्टली बाय द ओमनिसंट नरेटर at the center of the bleak house of the bleak house is the long running legal case which came about because someone wrote several conflicting wills the legal case is used by dickens to satirize the english judicial system when english bleak house made english judicial system var te ek prakar che tashire dena odlele ahe sir sir lesester deadlock and his wife a lady honoria uh, live on his estate at chesney chesney world and known to sir lesester lady dedlock had a lover captain hoden before she married and a daughter by him a lady dedlock believes her daughter is dead the daughter ester is in fact alive and being raised by miss barbary a lady dedlock sister ester does not know Esther does not know that a lady barbary is her aunt after barbary's death after barbary's death john jardais becomes esther's guardian and assigns the assigns the chancery lawyer chancery lawyer conversation kinge to take charge of her future after attending school for 6 years esther moves in with him at blick house ही फोरी त्यांनी सांगितले सप्लॉट्स देखील या पर्टिक्युलर नॉव्हेलमध्ये बऱ्यापैकी आहे नेक्स्ट आपण बघूया हार टाइम्स फॉर दीज टाइम्स हार टाइम्स बघा हार टाइम्स फॉर दीज टाइम्स कॉमनली नोन ॲज हार टाइम्स रिटन बाय चार्ल्स डिकर्स किसने लिखा आहे टेन्थ नॉव्हेल बाय चार्ल्स डिकर्सने लिखा आहे अँड टायटल इज वॉट वॉट इज द टायटल दॅट इज हार्ड टाइम्स हार्ड टाइम्स हार्ड टाइम्स so commonly known as hard times the 10th novel by charles dickens the novel appraises praise okay english society praises uh, english society and highlights the social and economic 
pressures of the times therefore it is called hard times so short this is uh, one of the short novels published serially published serially in months published serially in months hard times and the novel follows a classical trapratite structure and the titles of each book are related to for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap book first is entitled sowing book two is entitled reaping and book three is uh, what is that garnering so these are the three baga hard times se teen parts sangle na hard times kudla kudla sowing reaping and garnering next is a number number 13 is over there that is a little dorit what is that a little dorit it was published in 1857 kadi publish zalo to 1857 la What is a Little Dorit? Little Dorit, 1857, a novel by Dickens, appeared in monthly parts. It satirizes the shortcomings of both government and society, including the <coughs> institution of debtors' prisons, debtors' prisons, where debtors were imprisoned, unable to work until they repaid their debts. So, satir satirizes shortcomings of like both government and society. and publish in two books book one is poverty and book two is riches baga book one is poverty book two is riches and title is a little dorit little dorit then the novel begins in marcellus 30 years ago with the notorious murderer rigord telling his sale met how he killed his wife ya madhe dile ta kay ahe baga he next that's all important da hai a tale of two cities <clears throat> a tale of two cities a novel by charles dickens set in london paris before the during uh, before and during the french revolution the novel depicts the plight of the french peasantry demoralized by the french aristocracy in the years leading up to the revolution manje ya novel madhe kay sangitle ki Plight means what is some kind of bad condition of the French peasantry. Just as we say, what is demoralized by who? Who is the French aristocracy? That is the poor peasantry. They are not demoralized. Can you say what is the other? And it is related to a particular novel. So it is written in three books actually. And book one is Recall to Life. Book two is The Golden Thread. And book three is The Track of Storm. themes <coughs> kai resurrection water darkness and light as well as the social justice so this is a tale of two cities it was published in 1859 written by charles dickens most important charles dickens great expectations what is that a great expectation expectations in 1960 made he published dickens third and third and novel Abildungan's roman which depicts the personal growth and personal development of an orphan nicknamed Pip and narrated in first person novel is set in Kent and London Pip means Philip Pirip Philip Pirip Pip so this is the central character in this particular novel central character then <coughs> contains elements of gothic genre gothic aplyala ya madhe gothic genre je novels aplyala elements dis themes imperialism pip as a social outcast wealth london as prison gentility moral regenerations etc all these are what the themes of this novel great expectations tyanantar jay baka our mutual friend 
our mutual friend 18 64 written in the years 1864 65 the last novel completed by charles dickens one of the most sophisticated one of the most sophisticated works combining psychological insight with the social analysis it centers on according to hillis miller money 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 and what money can make of life but it is also about human values human values we share it and the major characters john harmon heir to the harmon harmon estate then uh, Bella Wilfer, born into poverty but retains the hope of marrying into wealth and receiving the inheritance of old Mr. Harmon. Then John Harmon needs to marry Bella Wilfer, to whom he had never met to get his inheritance. Otherwise, it will go means it will go money to a working class boffins and the effect spread into various corners of London society. So this is about this particular novel. Novel is a title guy for the election. They are mutual friend. What is that? Our mutual friend. So Charles Dickens created so many famous fictional characters. This that could look at the characters. Some of the examples are as under Ebenezer Scrooge. Scrooge, A Christmas Carol, Madlai. Tini Tim, A Christmas Carol, Jacob Marley, A Christmas Carol, Bob Cratchit, Christmas Carol, All Your Twist, All Your Twist, Madlai, The Artful Dodger, All Your Twist, Tianandarahi Fagin, a fictional antagonist from All Your Twist, a William Will Sick, Six, All Your Twist, a Miss Havisham, Great Expectations, Sydney Cartoon, Central character from A Tale of Two Cities, Charlie the Charles Donny, A Tale of Two Cities, Mr. McCaver, David Copperfield, then Abel Magwitch, that is from Great Expectations, then uh, Daniel Quilp, the main protagonist in the novel, The Old Curiosity Shop, Tyanandra Hibaga, Samuel Pickwick, Samuel Pickwick, a fictional character and the main protagonist in the Pickwick papers. Uriah Hiff, uh, David Cooper Hill, Tyanandra Wackford Squares, a quill, one night in Yorkshire, schoolmaster from Nicholas Nickelby and the life of the adventures of Nicholas Nickelby. Charles William William Macbeth Thackeray, he was born in 18, 1811 and died in 1863, was born in Calcutta and an English novelist of 19th century, Madlaha novelist, 19th century, and name is William Macbeth Thackeray, best known for his satirical works, particularly Vanity Fair, Satifar famous, William Macbeth Thackeray. So born in Calcutta, India, where his father, Richmond Thackeray, 1781 to 1815, was a secretary to the Board of Revenue in the British East India Company. His father was here. And he contributed uh, to both prose and light words to several periodicals, including Punch and Fraser's magazine Madhya Dekhil Janat Chikai ke liye contribute ke liye hai ya periodicals Madhya Dekhil writings. We are talking about whom? Una vishe bolto hai apun William William Macbeth Thackeray. Tadi cha apun novels bhagu ya kai 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 nile Janat Chikai bhagu ya. The yellow the yellow plush correspondence 1837 to 1838 Madhya Yana hai nila ho to publish ke liye ho to. And also titled the Yellow Plush Papers contributed to Fraser's magazine dealing with the philosophy of and experiences of Zim's and imaginary footman. Give me a minute, students, please. 
Give me a minute. Thank you for waiting. The yellow plush correspondence he wrote it was published in 1837 to 1838. Contributed to Frazier's magazine dealing with the philosophy and experiences of experiences of Zim's and imaginary footman. The book of snobs. The book of snobs. The book of snobs. The Book of Snobs, 1849 la published is Alota. <coughs> this is a collection of a satirical works by William Macbeth Thackeray. So published in the magazine Punch, it was published as the Snobs of England in Punch. Snob means those who mainly admire mean things and quickly gain popularity. There are baga, kupchan in the matla ita baga. Kaidina Snob banje ka hai? Ashe loko, those who mainly admire. Mainly means what? Now, up not of that level. The level the nasta dhari. Ani kutla question admire karta, jah shul la ka hai. Mean thing. And quickly gain what? Ani tachas, barushar dhanna kai milte. What they get? Popularity. The history of Samuel Titmarsh and the great Hogarty Diamond. It was published in 1841. Then the Fitzbudel Papers, 1842-1843, appeared in Fraser's magazine, presents his biting humor and merciless observation of human weaknesses. The Memoirs, the Memoirs of Barry Landon by Thackeray, it was published in 1844. This is a kind of a species of a caresque novel telling the adventures of a gambling rascal and amiable, amiable scapegrace who prowls over Europe. Also titled The Luck of Barry London. And this is a picaresque novel about a member of the Irish gentry trying to become a member of the English aristocracy. The novel is based on the life and exploit of the Anglo-Irish wreck and fortune hunter Andrew Robinson Stoney. Yeah, I'm going to the theme. This is the theme. What is there? Exactly what is there? What is there? What is there? Most important that is Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. Here are the question which are already Vanity Fair, it was published in between 1847 to 1848. Also entitled Vanity Fair, a novel without a hero. A novel without a novel without a hero. Vanity Fair, then a novel without a hero. A novel by William Macbeth Zachary. He satirizes the society in early 19th century Britain. It follows the life of two women, Becky and Sharp, Becky Sharp and Amelia Sidley. Among their friends and family, the novel is now considered the novel is now considered a classic and has inspired several film adaptations. 
The book's title comes from John Bunyan's allegorical story, The Pilgrim's Progress. In that work, Vanity Hammer was a vanity book. John Bunyan's allegorical story, Kutli, The Pilgrim's Progress, Made Vanity Fair, Havard Aliliahid. Vanity Fair refers to a stop, a stop along the pilgrim's route, a never ending fair held in a town called Vanity which is mean to represent man's sinful attachment to worldly things as important as Becky Shaw and Amelia Sedley. Vanity Fair by Thakri. That is the character. Important characters are there. Amelia Sedley, a good-natured but passive and naive ignored by men and women, was not beautiful. She marries George Osborne against his father's wishes and she was a devotee to him. Becky Sharp or Rebecca, so anti-heroine and Amelia's opposite, is an intelligent young woman uh, with a gift for satire. With a gift for satire. She is beautiful, good at French, so good at French and English. She has good singing voice, plays the piano and shows great talent as an actress. Then Rodden Crowley, that is Rodden Crowley is the younger of the two Crowley sons, is an is an empty headed cavalry officer who is his wealthy aunt's favorite until he marries Becky Sharp, who is far off lower class. Then the history in the next, next writing, Kutlevaga, that is by William Macbeth Sacre, that is the history of Pennis. Pennis, 1848 to 1850, published. Also entitled The History of the Pennis, his fortunes and misfortunes, his friends and his greatest enemy, as a writer. And what is there? It is a novel by William Macbeth Thackeray, said in the said in 19th century England, particularly by in uh, London. The main hero is young English gentleman Arthur Pedenis. So, who is born in the country and sets out for London to seek his place in life and life uh, to place in society. The novel appears an insightful satiric picture of human character and aristocratic society. In life and society, insightful and satiric picture. Insightful, insightful and satiric picture of human character and aristocratic society. The characters include the novice social hanger on major Pennis and the tipsy captain and the tipsy captain uh, costume, uh, Miss Emory and Sir Francis Clavering. The novel is partly autobiographical, it portrays life as it appears to the author. The history of Henry Esmond. The history of Henry Esmond. It was published in 1852. They published And the novel, <clears throat> a historical novel of great length and complexity. The book tells the story of the early life of the his early life of. the early life. The history of Henry Esmond. Esmond, a colonel in the service of Queen Anne of. Queen Anne of England and the novel tells uh, its tale against the backdrop of late 17th century and early 18th century England, specifically major events surrounding the English Restoration. Important time. Tyanantar Lile Baga that is the new comes uh, 1853 to 1855 Madhe published The novel by the novel by William McMiss Thackeray. The novel has the tragic end with the death of death of the aged Colonel Newcomb. The novel tells the story of Colonel Thomas Newcomb, a virtuous and upstanding character. It is equally the story of Colonel Newcomb's son, uh, Clive, who studies and travels for the purpose of becoming a painter. 
although the profession is frowned on by some of his relatives and acquaintances, notably Clio's snobbish, then a backstabbing cousin Barnes Nuka. This is the in short story. In short story, I Title kind of novel, so that is <coughs> the new car. Next book, we have, that is the Virginians. Next is the Virginians. Also, the Virginians, a tale of the last century, a historical novel which forms a sequel to his uh, Henry Esmond and loosely linked to Padney's. It tells the story of Henry Esmond's twin, twin grandsons George and Henry Harrington. Tarantarahi number 11, Lovell the Widower, 1860. So this is the novel he wrote being the first editor of the, of the Core Hill magazine. Then the Roundabout Papers, a series of essays. The Roundabout Papers, a series of essays by Thackeray, a series. The Roundabout Papers, 1862 1863. A series of essays, charming and witty trifles. Tarantara Hebaga, Dennis Devil. Dennis Devil. Unfinished novel of Thakre. Tarantara Baga, put in the English humorist of the 18th century. 1853 and the Four Georges 1860 both are the series of lectures published under the above titles. The English humorist of the 18th century. And the Saka the Four Georges. Tanantara Tanaik Lilebaga Rebecca and Rowena 1850. A comic continuation of Scott's Ivan Ho, a parody sequel to Ivan Ho. It is a burlesque. What is this one? Rebecca and Rowena. This is a burlesque. What is this? This is a burlesque. Next one, what is what he wrote? That is the Legend of the Rhine, 1835, a burlesque tale of medieval chivalry. Then he wrote about the Rose and the Ring. It is a satirical work of fantasy fiction. Kaya hai the Rose and the Ring, the Rose and the Ring, the Rose and the Ring, a satirical work of fantasy fiction. It criticizes the attitudes of the monarchy and those at the top of the society and challenges their ideals of beauty and marriages. Beauty and marriage. Beauty and marriage. Said in the countries of Fablagonia and Crim territory, the story revolves around the lives and fortunes of four young royal cousins, Princess Angelina and Rasselba, and Princess Bulb and and Princess a Princesses. Another princess, princess called Bulb and Gigilio, Gigilio, Gigilio. that is by. This is a satirical work actually. Satirical work of fantasy fiction chavarte satirical work hai. by William McWestad. The Adventures of Philip 1862. The Adventures of Philip 1862. Full title is The Adventures of Philip on his uh, on his way through the world. Shiving, Shiving, uh, who robbed him, who helped him, and who's, who passed him by. A novel by Thackeray, The Adventures of Philip, 1862. It was the last novel completed. Shiving, novel, that's all. A shabby story, a shabby gentle story, 1840. This is an unfinished novel. Then Catherine, 1840, and Catherine, a story, the first full length work of in, work of fiction produced by Thackeray. And it appeared in serialized installments in Fraser's magazine. 
तुम्ही जर आतापर्यंत आपण जे डिस्कस केले बघा पुढंच विल्यम सगळेच्या सगळे त्यानं काय केलेले बऱ्यापैकी सिरियल फॉर्म मध्येच त्यानं ते पब्लिश करत नाही आणि शेवटी ते बुक फॉर्म मध्ये आले ते पोएट्री द व्हॅलर्स ऑफ पोलिस मॅन एक्स अँड अर्ली वर्क कॉन्ट्रीब्युटेड इन मेंबर्स टू पंच त्यानंतर आहे बघा द व्हाईट स्क्वॅल अँड द बॅलर ऑफ बॉईल बाय बॉईल बाय सी पोएट्रीच्या बाबतीत आहे आता आपण नेक्स्ट पार्ट कडे बोलूया दॅट इज द ब्राऊन टीज द ब्राऊन टीज let me take a break for a minute so we can continue with the same ओके ना द ब्रॉन्टीज चार्लेट ब्रॉन्टी एटीन सिक्सटीन टू एटीन फिफ्टी फाइव देन एमेली ब्रॉन्टी एटीन एटीन टू एटीन फोर्टी एट एंड ए ब्रॉन्टी एटीन ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी नाइन आता ह्या तिघी बहिणी होत्या तिघी बहिणी होत्या सिस्टर्स होत्या यांचे बघा यांनी नाव जे आहे पेन नेम यांचे फुटले होते क्युरर बेल चार्लेट ब्रॉन्टी इबिली ब्रॉन्टीच होतं इलिस बेल अँड अॅनी ब्रॉन्टीचं काय होतं ऍक्टन बेल काय ऍक्टन बेल ऑल वर द डॉटर्स ऑफ अन आयरिश क्लर्जी वन पॅट्रिक ब्रॉन्टी या व्यक्तीच्या ह्या तिन्ही मुली काय नाव चार्लेट ब्रॉन्टी एम एल ए ब्रॉन्टी आणि ब्रॉन्टी आणि यांचा तुम्ही जर व्यवस्थित जर हे हे बघितलं बघा एटीन सिक्स्टीन आणि फिफ्टी फिफ फाईव्ह एटीन फिफ्टी फायला डेथ म्हणजे लिव्हिंग इयर्स बघितले तर फार कमी आहे द लिव्ड फॉर शॉर्ट पिरियड इवन एटीन एटीन बघा ना एटीन एटीन टू फोर्टी एट पर्यंत म्हणजे एम एल ए ब्रॉन्टी हार्डली किती किती होईल बघा एटीन टू ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी एट तीस वर्ष जगली थर्टी इयर्स ही थोडी त्यात प्लस होती ही एटीन हे इथं जर बघितलं तुम्ही थर्टी फोर्टी अँड फोर्टी नाईन म्हणजे ही ट्वेंटी नाईन इयर्स जगली फक्त ही आणि ब्राऊन टी ठीक आहे बघूयात काय की त्यांचं वर्क कसं आहे चार्लेट ब्राऊन टी रोड फोर नॉवेल्स अँड द प्रोफेसर दिस इज द नॉवेल इट वॉज रिटन बाय चार्लेट ब्रॉन्टी चार्लेट ब्रॉन्टीज आहे द प्रोफेसर एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन आर फर्स्ट नॉवेल बट शी डिड नॉट फाइंड द पब्लिशर अँड हॅन्स पब्लिश आफ्टर हर डेथ द नॉवेल इज द स्टोरी ऑफ अ यंग मॅन काय आहे स्टोरी पोस्ट युमस पब्लिकेशन आहे यंग मॅन विलियम क्रिम्सवर्थ and is the first person narrative from his perspective he describes his uh, maturation his loves and his eventual career as a professor at an all girls school 
throughout the novel, William looks down up Catholics and uh, Romish Wizardorf, Wizardorf, that is, Bronte pictures the two main characters as a treacherous and untrustworthy persons. William believes William believes the Catholic upbringing has a negative influence on the young girls at his school, and also a nationalism. A nationalism is found in the novel through the characters of Hans Den. Uh, through the characters of Hans Den. Characters kutle kutle baga ya particular novel badle. William Crimsworth, Crimsworth, the protagonist, an orphaned child who is educated at Eton College after being taken in by his uncle. Uncles. So Lord Terendale, then Honor, Honorable John Seacomb, Mr. Seacomb, William's maternal uncle, Sidako Levaga, Ek, Don, Tine, O William, Chi, maternal uncle. Charles seemingly William's only friend at Eton, Edward Crimsworth, William's tyrannical elder brother, and Hans Den York Hans Den, that is the man who frees William from his brother's clutches. Jane Irene, Jane I, not Irene, Jane I, Jane I, Mouth was a Charlotte Bronte, is a novel. The greatest novel by Charlotte Bronte, Jane I. J A N E E Y R E important आहे और question which are लिए लिया है 1847 में दे publish जालो तो published under the pen name Curer Bell या नावाचा under it published ये लो तो the love story of of the plain out very vital heroine is unfolded with a frank truthfulness and a depth of understanding that are new in English fiction a Wildungans Roman novel of formation education and culture आहे Building as Roman. Jane Eyre follows the emotions and experiences of its title character, including her growth to Building as Roman. Growth to he Building as Roman. I hey, to itna samore, ude, ide, to adulthood and her love for Mr. Rochester, the Byronic master of fictitious sort. One second. Fictitious Thornfield Hall. The focus is on the gradual unfolding of Jane's moral and spiritual sensibility. The themes, kai kai hai, the themes of the novel are morality, God, and religion, social class, gender relations, love and passion, and feminism, forgiveness, and search for family and home. The novel is set in the north of England and during the reign of George III. Character J9, the novel's protagonist and the title characters, Mr. Reed, Jane's maternal uncle, Tenantal Mrs. Reed, Jane's aunt by marriage, and John Reed, Jane's cousin, who as a child bullies Jane constantly, and Eliza Reed, Jane's cousin, jealous of her more attractive sister and a slave to rigid routine. Tenantarahe character that Lovaga, Georginia. Read Jane's cousin and so many characters are there. Number third, I have Bronte, so that is Shirley. S H I R L E Y. S H I R L E Y. S H I R R L E Y. Shirley. Again, 49. This is a social novel. This is a social novel by English novelist Charlotte Bronte and depicts the story. This is a love story of a young girl. The novel is set in Yorkshire in the period 1811 to 12 during the industrial repression resulting from the Napoleonic Wars and the War of 1812. Published under Bronte's pseudonym Curel Bell Ya Navakari. He published the question which are the Shakto? Twisted question who Shakto? The novel is set against the backdrop of the uh, Ludite uprising in the Yorkshire textile industry. While Bronte, one second. While Bronte was writing Shirley, three of her siblings died. 
Her brother Branwell died in September 1848. Her sister Emily fell ill, fell ill and died in December. And her sister Annie became ill and died in May 1849. It is believed that the character of Caroline Halstone was loosely based on Annie. Then, characters Robert Gerard Moon, an industrialist, where uh, whose textile mill is idle because of the war. Louis Gerard Moore, Robert's brother, working as a tutor of Shirley's uncle. Then Caroline, Caroline Hellstone, a timid and uncertain but also capable and wise woman. Then Shirley Kildler, Kildler an orphan heiress to a fortune, a headstrong, independent and determined young woman. And it's the novel I have got Charlotte Bronte. So that is a novel based on the character of Lucy Snow, the author herself, Lucy Snow. Here the best I think. So after an unspecified family disaster, the protagonist Lucy Snow travels from her native England to the fictional French-speaking city of Villette to teach at a girls' school where she is drawn into adventure and romance. So Gothic elements you can find. The novel is initially set in the English countryside and later follows Lucy Snow to the fictional uh, Belgian town of Villette, a Gothic novel and where the majority of the action takes place. Willette begins with the famously passing protagonist Lucy Snow at the age of 14 staying at the home of staying at the home of her grand her, her godmother Mrs. Brent, Mrs. Breton and in the clean and ancient town of Breton in England. Characters are there with what are the characters which are different characters in this particular novel. Lucy Snow, the narrator and main character of Willet, a quiet, self-reliant and intelligent. After that, Mr. <coughs> not Mr. M. Paul, Emmanuel, an angry professor at Maine, and Dr. John Graham Brayton, then Mrs. Brayton, then Madam Beck, the owner and headmistress of the boarding school for girls where Lucy is employed and what is there the nursing the pretty but unprincipled uh, por portraits at, at Madame Beck's boarding school next book we have Bronte sister mother Emily Bronte Charlotte Bronte we discuss this Emily Bronte so she was born in 1818, died in 1848, an English novelist and poetess who is known for her only novel, Uthering Heights. Uthering Heights are the far famous Uthering Heights. Uthering Heights. And considered a classic of English literature. And she wrote under the pen name of Elise Bell. You believe or not, Elise Bell. And Charlie Brandy Curer Well. So, Uthering Heights. It was published in 1847, Emily Brandy's only novel, and published in 1847 under the pseudonym Elise Well. This is a Gothic novel. Uthering Heights is completely a Gothic novel. This is a Gothic novel. Gothic means horror. Gothic novel. Now, it has the themes passion and gothic. So opening of the novel in 1801, Lockwood, a wealthy man from the south of England who is seeking peace. And uh, uh, what is that? A rich corporation. Peace and... I need to check this word. Huh? So peace and uh, rents. Tramrose Grange in Yorkshire. He visits his landlord Heathcliff, Hema was the character, but Heathcliff, who lives in a remote moorland farmhouse within heights. There, Lock, there Lockwood finds an odd assemblage. Heathcliff seems to be a gentleman, but he, his manners are uncouth. He, the reserved mistress of the house, is in her mid teens. And a young man seems to be uh, to be a member of the family yet 
he addresses and speaks as if he is a servant. Written in two volumes, Udring Heights in two volumes, what did he Characters, hit clip. Hit clip, pillar character. Found presumably orphaned on the street of the Liverpool and taken by Mr. Uh, Earnshaw to Udring Heights and cared by the family. He and Catherine grow close and their love is the central theme of the first volume. Heathcliff is considered a Byronic hero. Heathcliff. Byronic hero is called Heathcliff. And Catherine Erstow first, first introduced to reader after her death through Lockwood's, Lockwood's discovery of her diary and carvings. Then Edgar Linton. Then Nelly Dean, all these are the characters. Nelly Dean, then Isabel Linton, Mr. Lockwood. So Emily Bronte, uh, Emily Bronte wrote the finest poems, No Coward Soul is Mine, then Cold in the Earth and the Deep Snow Pile About Three. So Emily Bronte, Name Uska, Topan Nau Kaidi Pin Name, Ilis Bay. Tianandari Baga. Annie Bronte, Annie Bronte, Acton Bell, now on a delay, you know, Acton Bell, this is a pain name, Acton Bell, and Agnes Gray, her novels, Agnes Gray, Edin 47, the debut novel, the debut novel of, uh, by Annie Bronte, when you play novel, this a, and uh, the, wrote under the pain name of Acton Bell, the novel follows Agnes Gray, a governess, as she works within families of the English country. So, her sister Charlotte Bronte suggests it is based on Annie Bronte's own experiences as a governess for five years. So, it addresses what the precari precarious position of governess entailed and how it affected a young woman. So, the choice of central character, the central character allows Annie to deal with the issues, Annie to deal with the issues of oppression and abuse of women and governesses, isolation and ideas of empathy. An additional theme is the fair treatment of animals. Agnes Gray, main protagonist and narrator of the story. Edward Weston, a country person whom Agnes meets while visiting the poor, poor near the Murray's estate. Then Richard Gray, Agnes's father, Alice Gray, Agnes's mother, and Mrs. Bloomfield, mistress of Wellwood, then Mr. Bloomfield, master of Wellwood, and Matilda Murray, the younger daughter of the Murray family, Nancy Brown, town Bloomfield. All these are the characters from this novel. After that, we are going to discuss the next novel by uh, Annie Bronte, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, 1848. Annie's second novel published under the pseudonym Acton Bell. The novel is framed as a series of letters from Gilbert Markham to his friend and brother-in-law about the events leading to his meeting his wife. आता हे लेटर फॉर्मॅट म्हणजे कुठलाला एपिस्टोलरी नॉवेल आहे लेटर लेटर फॉर्मॅट म्हटले की लक्षात ठेवायचं त्यासाठी कुठलं वर्ड आहे एपिस्टोलरी नॉवेल सो अ मिस्टेरियस यंग विडो अराइव्स ॲट वाइल्डफेल हॉल अँड एलिझाबेथन मॅन्शन व्हिच हॅज बीन एम्प्टी फॉर मेनी इयर्स शी लिव्ज देअर इन स्ट्रिक्ट सिक्लोजन अंडर the assumed name Helen Graham and very soon finds herself the victim of local slander. The novel is divided into three volumes and Helen Graham's husband's name is Arthur Huttington. Asha Paddadine Aponite discuss Kirillia Heath Brown Tea Sisters. Brown Tea Sisters. Yanantar Zazwahe number Charla. Who is that? George Eliot. Upon the next session, we discuss Korea. So, thank you for attending the session, dear students. Thank you so much.